Hello everyone, this is Baba Mots. Welcome to another Homeworlds commentary. This is a match between Tornado84 and Crit1 Callens. Um, this was played uh, oh, not long ago from, from when I'm recording. in So that was February 2024. And not sure why I have this, this game bookmarked. Crit, uh, Crit is quite a strong player and Tornado has played uh, somewhat less. But I, I bookmarked this for some reason, so let's uh, see what we see. I I often bookmark games and, and don't record why. <laughs> I thought I ought to look at them. I had some reason at the time. So both players take Banker, so small universe. Um, but they took opposing... Uh, so good on... Let's see, so crit went second. Yeah, so good choice from crit to not have matching small stars or the first player would have a big advantage by getting mediums early in that color probably okay both trading for yellows right away rather than matching the small stars and getting a an economy boost that way in fact since both are bankers they both of the red and blue economies have a boost both in the uh, small and medium levels so larges would be quicker to get to that way but both players going for yellow uh, anyway, and as long as they both do it, doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. Okay, strong mirror so far, building the medium red. Uh, tornado went for another. Uh, let's see, traded R one for green. Oh, um, I wondered how they got behind. Um, yeah. Tornado could have just built that green rather than trading the little red that they had for it. So that's seems like possibly some uh, unfamiliarity with the game creeping into the play. Uh, crit trades red for yellow in mediums. Medium yellow can be very strong, especially in a small universe. Got to remember this is small universe. Both both homes connected to large stars. Uh, crit keeps building red. Tornado looks for more green. Um, I think Tornado ought to spread out their reds so that if Crit builds, if Crit spreads out their reds and keeps pursuing, that Tornado's ready to keep up. Okay, Crit invades. Um, Tornado builds more green. Possibly planning to overpopulate if, uh, if Crit starts capturing those. Oh, um, that's interesting. Crit, I guess, doesn't even want to sacrifice a little red for that. So instead, moving in the little red. <sighs> Tornado thinking about not even wanting to deal with this, just overpopulating them early. Ooh, that's a little more interesting. Trading for blue, Tornado might be wanting to over, uh, send the whole system supernova. Of course, Crit could start by capturing the little blue. Mm. Definitely, Tornado considering some moves that I, I associate with newer players, like moving the, the medium red in which Crit would immediately capture. And, and I'm sure Tornado figured that out, but some some signs of newness here. Crit capturing that little blue. Tornado sacrificing the green to get it away from where it can be captured and building a medium red. Uh, that would be good, except that it opens up the larges for Crit. So I don't actually like that very much. For the little yellow build, that feels a little better. Uh, crit, yeah, really just eating up everything here. Tornado trades for a blue. Hmm. Crit moving that blue to a green star where it can more safely build. Uh, small instead of large. Um... Oh, small instead of medium. I'm not sure if I 
see the huge difference between the two at the moment, but okay, tornado going out to a large. Oh, crit says it's time for a shopping spree. And are they right? Well, they could lose. They could lose all of this to the, the red invasion. Uh, but crit likes it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Tornado doesn't miss their opportunity. Crit definitely ahead. But I think that was Tornado's best move. I think if I'm crit, I invade the caster colony. Yeah, I, I would have moved the little red out to here, I think. But uh, crit wants to get back into production mode. Trades for green right away. Tornado, good. Um, building blue, I think, is the way to go here for Tornado. Blue's where Tornado's advantage lies. Well, it, I guess they didn't have an advantage in it until just now. But by building just one, they've got a, an advantage of one ship. And a head start. So yeah, crit can match, but Tornado's got the head start. So if Tornado trades for... I, I think I would have picked yellow there. So that I could spread... So that I could build again, then spread out, and be prepared for the larges. If you manage to crack through, yes. So that's what Crit's doing. They pick the the yellow. Although Tornado, until just a moment ago, didn't have a red ship anywhere. So, t so Tornado, I think you're you're ahead of me. I, I don't think Tornado's a viewer, but if you were, um, then uh, I'd say, yep, the red is the right move, because otherwise you have no red. Taking the bigger bigger view. Oh, Crit, uh, thinking about a yellow shopping spree here, I think. It opens up the large yellows for Tornado, though. Yeah, I don't... And, and which Crit could overpopulate, but they'd lose more than Tornado did in the process. I, uh, I don't like the yellow shopping spree. Oh, Crit commits. Um... Tornado not building that big yellow? Maybe Tornado's worried about the the overpopulation, but I think they shouldn't be. Compared to... So, if Tornado builds a large yellow, Crit sacrifices medium to move in small and medium yellows to overpopulate it. That's Tornado losing us... Compared to this position right now, that's Tornado losing one small for crit losing a medium, medium, small. Ah, I think that's a great trade for uh, for Tornado. But instead they build the little red. Um, and, yep, crit can keep building uh, building large yellows. Okay, that that build got, got Tornado's attention, I think. So now they build the large yellow. Oh, no, they're still going to pass it up? Oh, okay. Um, I... Hmm. It's just about time for Crit to invade this colony. In fact, even though Crit shouldn't come in and start capturing stuff, I think Crit should invade the colony just to <clears throat> make Tornado nervous and have another place to build more yellow. Yeah, that's what I would do, I think. Putting, putting a, a large yellow back in the bank uh, means that even if Tornado builds one, there's still another left to be built, but Crit doesn't want it, I don't think. Trading for the big red. Yeah, Crit doesn't want to be left with only one red ship, I think. Might be for the best. Okay, Tornado. Ooh. Um, that yellow ship was actually safer at home. And you know, so the thing I don't like about Crit's trade for the large red is that if that if they invade with the large red, Tornado can build into an overpopulation for a defense, and that's no good for Crit. Crit should have left that as a large yellow, I think. Traded one of the, the others for red. Okay, Crit builds... Uh, thinking about a few things here. Okay, um, so Crit... I think has their eye on the same thing I did. So not only was that little yellow safer when Tornado had it back at home, 
but their home was safer because if crit can't put as much can't put quite as much winning pressure on your home if you've got too much if you've got two colors um, now tornado is in check we'll see if tornado realizes they need to build trade or move something to have something other than green in their home for next turn oh no uh that's better that's better and tornado's even in a good position to build more uh build more yellow so this is not bad at all well i i say that but yeah crit can can build the yellow first okay i'm Sometimes I talk a little faster than I think. Um, no, Tornado, I think your, your big yellow is fine. Actually, this might be better because Tornado can put it in the... Uh, can build it in Caster now. They'd come up by a, a large ship that way. Uh, crit thinking about that invasion again. Oh, let's see. If Tornado overpopulates, which I'm sure they will do good... Um, Tornado has no red ships, but what can Crit do about it? Um, oh, they could invade the colony again. Crit's only got one red ship. Yeah, Tornado gets a large. Okay, okay. Tornado's in, uh, in some kind of business now. Crit can overpopulate that, but again, that's a good trade for Tornado. Well, pretty good trade. Best trade Tornado's likely to get, losing a small ship for a small and medium of crits. The, uh, the large build just now I don't count because that was a choice that Tornado chose, presumably, if, if with sufficient foresight, forcing Crit to... Uh, to lose those those two ships so takes takes crit down a peg um does tornado get some red or yellow i think the yellow is a good choice uh that opens tornado to getting more blue the large that large yellow i think crit's more likely to get it just because crit's Got the, the medium green, gives you a lot of bank control. Crit has more yellow, so Crit's more likely to get that large yellow than Tornado is, but Crit, Tornado needs yellow anyway. And threatening again, because Tornado still doesn't have red. Thinking about building to an overpopulation? Ooh, that's good. Um, sacrificing the G2 to accept that overpopulation, but get that, uh, but sneak that Y3 out of the bank in the process. Wow. Um, crit's really doing a number here. Okay, tornado builds blue. It's about the best they can do, but crit can invade. Crit still only they've got a lot of mileage out of that one little red ship, threatening to capture a lot. And tornado concedes. Um, okay, well, um, good game out of out of crit. Um. A lot of little things from tor Tornado. Tornado saw the the big problems, but I think this this is kind of typical of a crit being quite a strong player against you know sort of a, a, a medium level player in Tornado. Um, thanks to to both of you guys for for playing on Board Game Arena, where we get to see your games and study them and learn. And uh, thanks to all of you guys for watching.